Astronauts in space have to eat food out of strange containers. Generally, everything has to be sealed in plastic or in a tin, and sometimes it's heat treated, so this is what potatoes look like in space. Uh, sometimes it's dehydrated, this is what orange drink looks like in space. So basically, you fill this up with hot water, wait for it to reconstitute, and then you stick this little mouthpiece in, which has got a little tap on it, so the water can't escape again, and then you drink it from that. So everything comes in some sort of sealed package like this. These are dehydrated shrimps, or prawns rather, so you put the hot water in there and then you have to squish it up and wait for them to absorb the water again before you eat it. So it's not very appealing, and remember, it doesn't actually taste great because you're eating it out of a plastic bag. How you would normally eat food on the ground, you'd probably tip it out onto a plate and eat it with a knife and fork. Of course, if you do that in space, not only will the plate float away, but even if you attach the, the plate to the surface, the food will float away on it. So you'll notice a lot of these packages have a little blue sticky pad on it. So they'll usually have a tray or something else near them which has got a Velcro pad and they attach the food to those pads. They cut the top off and then eat it with a spoon and are very careful to make sure they keep it very close to their mouth. So it's not exactly a gastronomic experience for most of them. The other thing they love is to share it. So think about foods that you can share. So they often throw food. So they have tortilla um, uh, wraps, for example, and you can treat them like frisbees. So they'll throw them to each other and tear a bit off and throw them back. So that's quite fun, but it has to be food that doesn't fall apart if you're going to do that. So what are the most important things to consider? Well, the first thing is it's got to taste great. Because astronauts' sense of smell is worse in space, so they're not quite so, they don't find the food so appetizing. And the other thing is that because food floats in their stomachs, they feel full more quickly. So actually sometimes they find it's quite hard to eat enough food. They've got a very hard life. They do about two hours of hard exercise a day. So they get through quite a lot of calories. So it has to be delicious so that they want to finish it. Otherwise we're wasting food. We can't afford to send it into space and then not eat it. So that's the first thing. Then the balance of nutrition has to be right. So their bones and their muscles both tend to deteriorate in space. So they need plenty of protein, they need plenty of calcium, vitamin D and so on. So a good balanced diet, not too much salt either, because that can affect some of these health issues. So that's a really important aspect. And then it has to be possible to package it, preserve it and then serve it. So those are the main things to consider when you're planning your meal.